Hello viewers, welcome back to my channel. In today's uh, topic of discussion is on IPv4 header format. The header format for the IP protocol that is version 4 is projected here on the board. This IPv4 header format, first of all, we need to know this header, what are the components that are getting included in the header part and why is it required? And all these time you, you know that from the sender to the receiver, okay, via different networks, the packet travels. When the packet travels, the packet needs what the header part. Without the header part, the packet cannot reach the destination. It is simply like when we want to send something, okay, when we want to send a parcel, we go to the office, parcel office, we give our item there. So, on that particular item, we are going to write all the details that is the sender's address, the receiver's address to whom we want to send, that is the receiver's address will be written over there. Since it has to go or that parcel has to travel a long distance, definitely the item that is there in the parcel also matters here. If it is a delicate item, it has to be handled with care and how many kgs that and how fast that particular parcel should reach. Is it on priority based that it should not get delayed? We want to make sure that the packet reaches within a day, parcel reaches within a day. So that is our all requirement. We put all these details, okay, and we convey these details to the parcel office and they take care depending on our requirement. Similar is the case here, whenever a sender is sending a packet, that particular packet has got what the header part. The header will definitely include the source address and the destination address. Apart from these, there are other various things that has to be taken care in the network. So all those things, what are the do, what are those things that has to be taken care by the network? That particular information I'll be explaining in today's session. So we say that that information is divided into how many? It is divided into these many fields. Totally, if you look here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 fields are there. And this one is the optional field. And the name is also options and padding. So let us look into each of these fields in the datagram. And moreover, you should know that we call this header part and the payload part together as the datagram. Now, whatever I have written here in the blue color font is only the header part. So I'll just put here, this is the, okay. This is the, whatever is this header is here display. So the header is, now, first let us see that each of, there are 12 fields here. Each of the field has got some bits reserved. And this bits, if you see the very first field is having four bits. For the next is having four bits like this. I have written here the number of bits that are meant for each of this field. Totally, if you add, it becomes to 160 bits, which is equal to 20 bytes. So that is why we are writing here, the header should be minimum of 20 bytes, maximum of 60 bytes. How, where, where, so maximum of 60, so where this rest 40 bytes will get included from the options part. The rest 40 bytes can be included. So it is, it it may or may not be there. Options may, may or may not be there in each of the, in every packet. So that's why 0 to 40 bytes. Now, when the header, when we say these are the different fields in the header part and what are the requirements a particular packet needs in uh, wants from the network the network has to handle depending on the values that are placed in the header part first of all whenever a packet travels from the uh, sender to the receiver when it travels from the sender to the receiver you can see the first information that is that the receiver receive is the version of that protocol now this we have written ipv4 that is internet protocol version 4 so, 4 bits are meant to give the information that this packet belongs to version 4. So, 4 in here, since 4 bits are there, so the possible binary value will be what? 0, 1, 0, 0. This will be the possible binary value for the version. That is in 4 bits you are representing like this. Then header length. Header length is also, 4 bits are used to represent the header length. Header length is how many bytes? 20 bytes. Now, if you are using 4 bits for the header length, so you can say that your first one value can be 0, 0, 0, another can be 0, 0, 1, third can be 0, 1, 0, like this. The last value, possible value will be 1, 1, 1, 1. So 1, 1, 1, 1 in decimal is 50. 
when you see this 15 but the minimum value is 20 there is no match at all so the reason he now what exactly is happening is to represent this 20 bytes or more than 20 bytes or maximum 60 bytes using only this 4 bits option we have to make use of what the divide by 4 and multiply by 4 method the sender whatever is the value here okay whatever is the value present in the header part will divide it by 4 suppose let us take for example if the header size is 40 bytes then the sender is going to divide by 4 which is 10 so 10 in binary will be how much 1010 10. the receiver when it receives sees that the header length is 1010 10, it will multiply by 4 so this one you convert it into decimal 10 into 4 40 so you will get the correct value this was 40 bytes and the receiver is also able to identify yes the header part is 40 bytes so that is why this multiply by four, divide by 4 and multiply by 4 method is used here to represent because only 4 bits are used for meant for the header length. Then the third field is service type that is what type of service you are expecting from the network for your packet. So 8 bits are meant here and what are these 8 bits denoting let us I will just write one uh, the values for these 8 bits actually 8 is once again the first three bits are meant for the precedence okay these three are meant for we call it as precedence then comes the different performance metrics for a pack uh, for the mess for the particular network so in one of my videos uh, video lecture i have explained about the performance of a network it is measured by delay throughput so that particular information that is one of the the bits in this service type is what representing the performance here what type of performance you want for that packet whether you want minimum delay maximum delay sometimes what happens is we are sending one message it may not be of so urgent so we are not at all worried about the delay let it take its own time that time we say yes minimum delay so let me just write down first what are the different performance metrics here we can always remember in this one DTRC if you remember these four letters 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8 bits. This is the last bit is not used. Fine, these three bits are used for the precedence. So the combination, the possible combinations will be like this. Fine. Delay. D stands for delay. T is for throughput. R is for reliability, C is for cost. Now the possible values for each of these field will be what either 0 or 1, 0 or 1, 0 or 1, 0 or 1. So all these possible values will be either 0 or 1. So when you are having 0 in this particular uh, part of this field that is delay you are writing that it is a like it is like normal you don't have to worry about the delay but if the value is one what is that you are expecting you are expecting to be the packet to be minimum delay you want minimum delay for the packet that means the packet should not spend more time in the network you want to make sure the packet reaches the destination quickly throughput zero is normal one definitely throughput most of us will always expect what maximum throughput so this will be what maximum one indicates maximum reliability you doesn't want the packet to get lost in the network at any point of time so you will write here it one maximum maximize reliability zero if it is there it is normal value similarly cost cost it like you want the cost to be minimum then the value will be one otherwise it is normal you're not worried about the cost so this way these values are present here in what in this field service type and also you have the precedence precedence is like the priority here fine like uh, see sometimes we want the packet to reach uh, like on pr priority basis suppose there are other packets the router is processing but the router but in one of the packet the priority is set here the value is 001 so this 001 indicates what the priority otherwise if it is 000 it is a routine packet 
you are not worried let the router take its own time like if the packet is there in the queue whenever the turn for that packet comes for processing the router will process but if the value is 0, 0, 001 it is a what on top priority the router has to process this packet and forward it in the network so that is related with the service type total length total length always includes the data part and the header part so header part is how much so let us take the minimum value 20 for example let us take the data is 100 bytes so 20 bytes plus 100 bytes so we are saying that the total length will be 120 bytes suppose in small, very simple numerical problems if they ask you to find out what is the value for the data given will be the total length and the header length but remember one thing suppose if they have given the header length as in in binary they would have given the header length as uh, let me write like this um, if they have given like fine header length then plus they are saying that okay you calculate the total length or you calculate the data part given total length is how much total length is some 140 bytes so you have to find out the data part so when you are going to find the data part data will be what the data part will be total length minus header length when you want to subtract the header length from the total length make sure that you multiply that binary value that means first convert this binary value into decimal 11 and then multiply by 4 it becomes what 44 so they have given okay total length 140 minus 44 so whatever you get here becomes what the total value of the data so every packet will have what the header part the total uh, that is the data part put together will be the total length the total length will be mentioned here in the uh, packet so this is how you should know how to calculate the data and the total length or the header length The next three fields, identification, flags, fragmentation. These three fields are interrelated and this all these three fields require a um, detailed explanation. And for that reason, that will be dealt as a separate topic itself. That will be treated, I'll be explaining it in a separate uh, session, these three fields. The rest of the fields also, I'll be teaching it in the next session. You have the time to leave protocol, header checksum. So then actually these two doesn't require much explanation definitely that is the source address the sender's address 32 bits IPv4 address is what always 32 bits in decimal notation if you are writing dotted decimal notation so somewhere you are going to write the IPv IP address for the source part then the destination address whatever destination address you want to send the packet you are writing it fine in the dotted decimal so this is in dotted decimal notation definitely it is an IPv4 and uh, IP address uh, 32 bits are required in order to represent the IP address in IPv4 fine the rest of the fields in this IPv4 header format I shall explain it explain it in the next session thank you bye bye take care